can look at world events. We can look at, you know, the condition of the world and see that we're living in the days of Lot. You know, I just read or saw a video about Rebel News in Canada, if you know about them. Uh, great, great channel. Check them out, Rebel News. Um, they're doing great work. And um, there was, you know, one of the reporters went into like a swimming like a competitive sports, right? And this guy, he's a 50-year-old man, a 50-year-old man who identifies as trans, swimming with these 13-year-old girls, and he's showering with them. He's in their locker room, and, you know, Rebel News goes in to expose this. They call the cops on him, and the cops escort him out for trespassing and do nothing about it, you know, with a minor, a 50 year old man and the reporter who's exposing it is the bad guy here and and you know so it's just that's the condition of the world we are living in the days of lot okay it's just insane so we can see the signs of the times and know that the end is near you know the sodomites are already out in full force on the streets and they've taken over our government run schools they're everywhere on our TVs and social media. We're living in the days of Lot. It's only going to get worse. And so if this message has reached you and God is speaking to your heart and you have not yet put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus by grace through faith alone, the Bible says that today is the day of salvation, right? In other words, are you ready to face God? Do you have Jesus Christ by your side? Have you called out to him and believed the gospel? If not, now is the time. Don't wait because we are not guaranteed another breath. And all you have to do is just admit you're a sinner, call out to Jesus, believe that he's the son of God, incarnate as man, that he is God. He is the second person of the Trinity. You don't have to understand all the details of that, you know, with the, you know, all the aspects of the Trinity, but you need to understand that Jesus is Lord that he died for you, was buried and rose again and took your sins upon himself and, sh and shed his blood in order to be your substitute, in order to, to save you. And so if you haven't done that, you know, make sure.